Hello, I'm Darlie from Revive Rehab and today I just wanted to show you, give you a tour of our facility. We have been open but I just wanted to make sure you guys knew what we were doing uh, to take care of this COVID-19 situation that we have going on. So come on in and uh, before you enter our uh, therapy room, we have a sign that posts uh, if you have any signs of fever, cough, or shortness of breath, or even we even ask patients uh, if they have lost the sense of smell or taste, because those are the new things that have been added as a symptom to COVID-19. So if you have any of these systems, please call our phone before you enter uh, the clinic so that we can guide you on what needs to be done. Our phone number is listed right here so they can look at it and call our office before entering and come on in and uh, this is our waiting area and of course as you can see the waiting area is bare right now we have no magazines here or any kind of decorative items just so that uh, we avoid touching any magazine so there is no cross contamination uh, and we have a nice notice written over here for all of our patients to read because few of the policies that we have implemented is all the patients and staff are required to wash their hands before and after treatment and um, all patients and staff are asked to wear a mask at all times when they are in this facility uh, we also screen every single patient and all the staff and their temperatures and oxygen levels are recorded. Um, and also, we have recently installed a UVC light HIPAA filtration system in our waiting area and all the treatment rooms. And the UVC light is supposed to kill any of the germs in the air. And also, of course, it is filtering everything and um, our office gets the waiting area gets cleaned every hour in fact from next week it's going to get cleaned every half an hour because we are going to stagger our patients so the therapist one therapist would start at 9 30 and the other therapist would start at 10. so every half an hour in between patients there would be cleaning done of all the chairs all the uh, uh, the tables, the knobs, the light switches, the sinks, of course this, and uh, the sinks and the taps and the doors to the bathroom. Over here is, uh, we, since we are requesting all our patients to have a mask on during treatment as, uh, and while waiting in the waiting area, uh, if they do not have their own mask, we provide masks for them. The only thing is that they have to go wash their hands before they can open this bag and get a mask from there. We do ask them to do that. Come on in and uh, here's, uh, and here, oh, Jovelyn's cleaning up, just finished cleaning <laughs> the entire place. And here's our um, uh, screening area. And in this box, we keep our infrared thermometer and our pulse oximeter so infrared thermometer checks the temperature and the pulse oximeter actually checks the oxygen level in the blood and uh, the reason we started implementing checking of the oxygen is because uh, even when the patient is asymptomatic they could have a drop in their oxygen level because of uh, COVID-19 so we are able to catch it even before they become symptomatic and of course that's our um, sink over there and over here we have a log that we maintain and uh, every time the area is cleaned by either the therapist or the administrative staff we are required to write down the timing of when the cleaning was done so at least every, between patients we are getting all the cleaning done and come on in i have a patient in this room and i have actually asked her permission to go in there so um just so that you can see what we are doing with treatments can i come in hello 
and we have a patient, actual patient treatment going on. As you can see that both the therapist and the patients have to wear a mask while they are in here. And of course, the uh, uh, every room is equipped with the HEPA filtration with the UVC light. And I'm going to leave you guys alone. Bye. <laughs> Thank you. And as you can see, we can go in this other room over here. We don't have a patient in here yet. Uh, but as you can see, we have the filtration system here as well. And, um, and another thing that I wanted to mention was that if, uh, we have taken into consideration every point of contact. So one of the things that we have added is we actually have vinyl covers on all our pillows. As you can see, our treatment mats are easily cleaned by um, uh, uh, Clorox wipes. And then all our pillows are uh, made, I mean, we have a cover for our pillows which is vinyl. So not only our tables get cleaned, but the pillows, the vinyl covers enable us to wipe it down with the Clorox wipe. Uh, of course, we put a pillowcase on top of it. When the pillowcase comes off, we have the ability to wipe the pillows down. And after a treatment, I just wanted to mention is that we not only... Uh, uh, I'm going to turn this on because it's time for treatments anyways. So after a patient gets treated, not only the t uh, treatment table and the pillows get wiped down, but we also keep any equipment that the patient may have used, for example, the blocks or anything that we have used, everything gets placed over here. And at the end of the session, we clean the treatment table, the pillows, everything that was on this side of the table, plus the uh, handles of the chairs and also the door knobs. When they leave the uh, room, we, it's actually cleaned every uh, after every treatment and here's our gym area and the gym area is of course the Pilates equipment, the mat and the Alter G uh, equipment and after, before and after every treatment the, uh, the Pilates equipment are wiped down with Clorox wipes and we have the Alter G equipment that is actually uh, uh, wiped down plus the shorts that go with it is ha has always had to be wiped down with an industrial strength cleaner um, with, which has to be sprayed down and that that we still do it um, what else am I missing anything pretty much uh, yeah so we are taking making sure that you and all of our staff are safe and this is another treatment area of course there is no patient in here because the treatment hasn't started yet in this room and um and we have another room over here another treatment area here our break rooms in here and our equipment room for our uh, physical therapy patients are here. So we have equipments here. The Alter G is a commonly used equipment for our patients. Alter G is an anti gravity uh, a treadmill that is actually a capa is capable of reducing the body weight up to 80%. So if you have pain in your leg or your back or any, ex any parts of your body, then you could be easily running on that at 20% body weight. So you are able to exercise even with pain and that's how you develop a strength for your muscles. Uh, and once the strength increases, then your joints are not getting, um, you know, so much of stress on it. So that's a great equipment for people who are trying to lose weight and are in pain and they get stuck in a vicious cycle because they are not able to exercise because of pain. That's a good way to start. So this is another equipment that we have for uh, Pilates. This is a Cadillac equipment and our Pilates instructors, we have two Pilates instructors um, in this facility and they do all private treatments for all of these um, um, 
stuff. And one of our Pilates instructor is a physical therapist. So we do do Pilates as a modality for physical therapy as well. So all these, everything over here gets cleaned out before and after treatment. And, and I feel so blessed that we have this ample amount of space because, because we have so many different treatment areas and our gym space is so large that we are able to accommodate patients uh, with social distancing. We never have any patient here. Uh, well, we only see patients one-on-one. -on -one. So one therapist has one patient for the entire time. So there is not, uh, there's never, even before this whole era of COVID-19, we never saw patients more than one person at a time. So there is no question about having like 10 patients in the gym room. That has never happened. The maximum patients in that gym room is two. And uh, that's a big area to have um, you know, to spread out and do the activities, uh, whatever they need to do. And uh, I hope to see you guys soon. Hopefully you are all doing better. And I hope you have been getting all our videos for our stretching classes, stretching exercises and modalities that we have been sending out throughout the year. Those videos were taken before the lockdown and things have changed a lot since the lockdown. So, uh, in, uh, and we are going to continue to make videos even after this so that you guys have access to any of the stretches that we teach you over the course of your treatment here. Thank you. Stay safe.